This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this Kading Live video, we will be showing you how to add shapes in order to focus in on a item or photo or topic. In order to do this, we will be using a Kading Live effect called Alpha Shapes. Once you have opened Katie and Live, bring in the photo or video you would like to use. We will start with a video for this Katie and Live example. Drag the video to the timeline. Go to the Katie and Live effects list. Click on Alpha Manipulation. Scroll down to Alpha Shapes and drag the Alpha Shapes and place it into the video on the timeline. Notice the nice rectangle, but by clicking on the black shapes bar, you will find an assortment of shapes to choose from within this Kading Live effect. From rectangle to sphere and triangle as well as diamond. It is totally up to you to choose what fits for you and your needs, although I really like the sphere. You can also adjust position and size of the different shapes within this Kadian Live effect. Next for our example, we will use a photo of a car. Notice how it has the white background. So let's drag the Kidding Live Alpha Shapes effect into the photo. Imagine if you have a product to display. Adding the sphere works very nice with the white background. Notice the gray outline it forms. You can also tilt the skating live effect 
But of course, it is one of those things you really need to try for yourself in order to get the effect that works for you. This next photo needs a little more work. It's our Grepax puppy. But in the photo, he does appear to be a bit small. So, stay with us as we fix that while adding yet another effect. First, let us drag our Arcadian Live Alpha Shapes effect in as you may notice, we cannot see Samson, our pup. So, we will use the position Y to bring him into sight. There we go now. Let us put the sphere effect on his photo. Then click on the effects list and type zoom. Grab the position and zoom effect, placing it in the photo on the timeline. I already know that when I go to make this adjustment, the photo will be pulled down and to the right. So I will try to compensate for that now by dragging up and to the left. Once you have done this, adjust the size of the position and zoom. I adjusted mine to 300%. This seemed to be a good size to me. But notice, I did not compensate enough. So in the KD Live position and zoom effect, I must use the X axis in order to move it to the left just enough to grab the crosshair. Once you can see the crosshair, grab and drag the photo until you reach the proper position and then make any final adjustments. The rest of this video is my rendered project. I hope you have enjoyed this Katie and Live video and have found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, 
why not become a subscriber and ring the bell in order to be notified your way so as to know when new videos become available. I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1 from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.